Hey guys, my name is Ryan and welcome to Overwatch Central. Today we're going to be talking to Krosif about Ash. She is a hero that we've spoken about previously on the channel with her having the worst pick rate in the Overwatch League yet having a fairly decent pick rate in competitive. So we kind of get to the bottom of why, where she could be improved, her role in the game, what kind of buffs that she might get, that kind of stuff. You can check out Krosif in the description below, his Twitch and app, but let's get started. So because we haven't had you on the channel before, Krosif, who are you? Like sort of your previous SRs, and why should people listen to you when it comes to talking about Ash? Hey, my name is Krosif, and I've been a top 500 player since season one, and originally was a Widow main, but now I'm well known for playing Ash. I think people should listen to me when it comes to Ash because I mainly try to play the hero as optimally as I can while making plays where I can, whether if they're risky or not. Also, I've been rank 1 Ash on overbuff multiple times. Not like it matters, I know overbuff isn't a big deal. Um, if it makes any better, I've peaked at rank 9 on the NA leaderboards while only playing Ash. There's been a lot of different people saying why Ash is kind of suffering, why she isn't in a great spot. Like multiple different reasons. For you, what is her biggest problem? There's honestly not much to it. I think Ash suffers mainly because other heroes either have a more reliable and better kit than her, or they're just used for specific situations that Ash can't do. I guess that raises the question of does Ash get worse the higher you climb? Because looking at overbuff, that seems to be the case. I don't think Ash gets worse the higher you climb. I think it just gets harder to play her because you have a lot of players that know how to play against her at the higher ranks. And usually, for me personally, I just switch off Ash and play something that is just more optimal because they're just countering me or something. One of the big things that people complain about and want to see buffed is her reload because it takes like four seconds to reload your magazine fully. Uh, do you agree with that? Do you think that's her biggest problem? What can be done there? I don't think her reload is impacting her as negatively as people might think. I know she has a really long reload time, but while you're reloading, Make sure to reposition yourself so you can get better angles and have an advantage on the enemy team. Because by the time you're done reloading that entire clip, you'll most likely already be at your destination. And this is probably the only thing I could think of to make use of her long reload time, since it usually works out when I do it for the most part. And that's why I don't think her reload has that much of a negative impact on her. We should have really started with this question, but what is her role in the game? Because it feels to me like Blizzard aren't quite sure what she's meant to be. So in your eyes, like where and when would you pick her? And how should you play her? Her role in the game is obviously a sniper, but she's also a really decent flanker. And I think the best way to play her is as a flanker, finding those angles on the back line so you can land your dynamites. Um, that's probably the best way you can apply pressure, do damage, or even get some kills. So if you were Jeff Kaplan, how would you buffer? Would you change the reload? What would you do? Uh, if I could buff Ash, I probably would increase the travel speed of her dynamite, because it's pretty slow. What would you say the most impactful part of Ash's kit is? Is it the fact that she is the kind of in-between a McCree and Widowmaker, or is it just a dynamite? Uh, I think it comes to no surprise that the most impactful part of Ash's kit is definitely her dynamite. That thing does an insane amount of impact damage, and then it has the burn effect afterwards. You could pretty much just two-shot uh, 200 HP heroes with it. I think it's her most reliable ability too, and yeah. I feel like the general community is trying to learn about Ash currently, still going on ever since she was announced at BlizzCon. For you, what is the biggest misconception that you've heard around her? Some of that you've just heard and you've gone, that's just not true, now that you've played her a lot more hours than most of us. I think one of the biggest misconceptions around Ash, at least for me personally, is that you need a Mercy if you're going to play Ash. Uh, in my opinion, I don't think you need a Mercy at all. You can be really impactful just playing as Ash. A Mercy is pretty much just like a bonus for that extra damage. And yeah, it's insane, but you don't really need a Mercy. We haven't really spoken about the Overwatch League at all, really, but her pick rate was bad. We've kind of gone over why, really, but I did want to ask. She was picked on two maps, and she's been picked here quite frequently, and that is Blizzard World and Temple of Anubis. Why those maps in particular, and why nowhere else? Uh, I think Blizzard World is one of my favorite maps to play Ash on, specifically for first point. Um, if I'm attacking or defending, I just find it so easy to land dynamites on anyone. 
um, there's not much cover and where there is cover it's not a place to hide from a dynamite as for anubis i think that map is really good for ash because it's very narrow and teams are usually grouped up almost all the time so landing dynamites is very impactful on that map before we finish is there anything else that you kind of wanted to mention that you haven't already uh i don't really have any final points on ash but um if you're a DPS player and you like Hitscan and you've never played Ash before, I'd highly recommend her. She's really fun. Cool. I guess finally then, where can people see more of you? Your Twitch, Twitter, whatever else. Where can people find more of you playing Ash? You can find me on twitch.tv forward slash Krosif. I stream almost every day. Uh, you could also follow my Twitter at Krosif. I announce whenever I go live on there. So yeah. And that's it for this time. Thank you very much for watching. You can check out all of Crossive's stuff in the description, like I said. Thanks again. Take care, and I'll see you next time.